Hey everybody, I didn't realize that it was gonna take 20 minutes to kind of go through everything, so I wanted to give a short version for those that kind of just wanna know the answer and click off. Uh, in short, they are both amazing. So this one's Pink and Main, this one's from Amazon. They both are pretty much the exact same thing. This one is just matte on the outside. Uh, they blend both beautifully. As you can see, oxide inks and then dye inks. Uh, what else? They are only a dollar difference. So this one I believe is ten dollars. This one is nine dollars. Uh, but you, if you do have Amazon Prime, you will save on shipping. But if you are like me and shop online at Simon Says Stamp or even Pink and Main, any of those websites uh, online that carry this uh, brand then put one in your cart and then that way we can support our crafty brands out there uh, especially for a dollar difference i mean yeah why not uh so yeah that is the short version they blend beautifully the only thing that i was noticing uh, just to give you guys a short little version of my dilemma here so they had made these um, or come out with them, um, the craft brand did. Notice that people were holding these brushes on by the t like the head of the brush instead of like this. So that's why they thought, oh, well, we'll come out with ones with the handle. I'm noticing myself, I am holding it like this still. So it could just be me, uh, but this way I feel my hand cramps a little bit more. Um, I do have issues with my wrist uh, and things, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But yeah, that's the semi-short version. Uh, I definitely would recommend these. I'm probably going to get more. I definitely like them better than these, but I probably still will use these. Um, the bristles are the same, pretty much the exact same thing. So yeah, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> if you are going to click off now, uh, if you got your answer, please give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know if you are going to, uh, in the future, purchase any of these these ones, uh, either the Pink and Main Alta New or the Amazon brand. Uh, yeah, I would love to know if you have plans on um, purchasing them. And yeah, I think that's it. So if you are in for the long video, let's get into it. Thanks for watching you guys if you are clicking off now, but don't forget to give the thumbs up. Thanks. Hey everybody, I have two more brushes to share with you. I did wanna tell you guys that unfortunately the Pink and Main is sold out. I happened to get one from Simon Says Stamp and when I went to go check to see if they were still available, they are not. So I apologize, but I did want to put this up for you guys because I know some of you have been waiting. I have not tried these out yet, so you are going to get my first impression. I have pulled them out and kind of held them in my hands, but I haven't used them with any inks or anything. So I'm going to use them first with you guys. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Pink and Main and Simon Says Stamp will get them in stock I don't want to say fairly soon because on Simon Says Stamps website, they say February 28th. So it's about a month out. I'm not exactly sure when Alta New will be getting theirs in. They're, ha they're coming out with one pretty similar. Uh, I got this one on Amazon just to see the difference between them. Uh, and I will talk about uh, my initial thoughts um, in a, in a minute or so, but I did want to say that with these are only a dollar difference. So this one is about a dollar more than the one from Amazon, not counting shipping. But I mean, let's be honest, we're all shopping at places where you can get Pink and Main or Alta New uh, products online. Well, most of us, anyways. So I'd say just put one of these if you're looking for one. Put one of these in your cart and um. That way we can uh, support our crafty companies uh, for a dollar difference. Definitely, I would definitely go for the crafty one. I'll probably be picking up a few more of these if I like it. I don't know. I 
do like my other makeup brushes. So uh, yeah, with all of that out of the way, let's open them up. So this one was from Simon Says Stamp. They shipped it in a regular envelope, which I don't really like to talk bad about companies or anything like that, but I really wish that they would ship their things better. I had um, paper, paper pads in there and stuff, and they had shipped it in just a regular envelope. And it's kind of irritating because, you know, I don't want my paper to get all bent out of shape like I'm bent out of shape. No, just kidding. It's not that big of a deal, but anyways, so this is the pink and main one. It is very soft and it slides out like everybody's been showing, clicks in. Um, the first thing that I did notice about the pink and main is it has a smell. It's got kind of like a chemical-y smell. <laughs> uh, it's not too horribly bad um, but if you are very sensitive to smells it does have a, a slight smell to it the one from Amazon does not that I noticed and I even had my husband sniff them <laughs> so that I'm like am I going crazy because this one has kind of a smell and this one doesn't so you could see the difference here this one is more matte which I actually really like this one ha is a little bit shinier and this one's a little bit easier to slide in and out. Not that the this one is, you know, horribly hard to do, but I can use I can do this one a little bit easier with one hand. See like that. This one, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty easy. But it is it does take a little bit. Yeah, see, let's see. I don't know. It's a little bit harder. My husband said probably because it's a little bit thicker because of the coating on it. Uh, but yeah, that's the only difference that I could see and um, and notice offhand. They are, uh, whoops, they're very slippery. Uh, the same diameter. Had to think for a second. Uh, and they both fill the same in my hand let me see yeah they're both the same this one is a little bit more comfortable only because it has um, it's not as slippery uh, but they're both pretty slippery but anyways um, I think the Amazon br bristles are maybe like a millimeter taller or longer and like that's about it see where it's darker on the edges here that's probably uh, like the longer part of them but they're I mean they feel the same um, I think that this one has more bristles my husband thinks that this one has more bristles they are very like dense they have a lot of bristles period so I don't know. Anyways, I've been rambling for five minutes, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew. Um, and so I showed you guys the differences that I saw and noticed and all of that. So for this, Pink and Main will be on the left. Other random brand from Amazon will be on the right. And I'm going to start off with some regular dye ink. And we're going to use... Uh, the pink and main first. So I'm just going to ink this up pretty well. And make sure I'm in frame here. Ooh. This is nice. Let me get my make uh, my other makeup brushes right here, just to kind of just. No, it has the same feel. It's very. Yeah, I just wanted to see. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna do a full review on, um, you know, another review because I did such a long one before, and this one looks like it's gonna be long, which it probably shouldn't be. 
Um, let me go in with triple berry. And I'm just going to use a stencil. I have this new one from Tim Holtz. And we're just going to use it and get some of that ink on here. Again, this is the pink and main. Look at that. I love this. You know what, actually? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right. I am not going to do too much blending of inks together. Uh, I feel like this is already going to be really long. So I'm going to go in now with the Amazon brush. And again, start off the page. Come on. Let's see. Yeah, you definitely have to have good control or else you're gonna get kind of wonky. All right. Um, they seem pretty much the same so far. I'm not seeing like any huge difference. Let's see, let me get my stencil back in here. This one seems to have a little bit more concentrated color or like maybe it holds a little bit more ink or something. I don't know. I'm sure you guys can see that. This one's a little bit um, more soft, and this one's a little bit darker, concentrated. So that's the only thing that I can see. Um, let's try to do them. side by side so whoops sorry you guys okay yes this one does definitely have you're gonna have to um, build up more color with this one we had to do two passes uh, but that's not a big deal. At least not for me. Um, all right, let's go in with the blue. I need to get more of the Simon Hurley inks because they're pretty amazing. I love how they blend together. And this is just regular cardstock. I'm not using... Uh, any special cardstock like I did the last time. So, all right, now let's get this one. I wish they had like a little label on top, but that's okay. I mean, they definitely perform pretty much the same. Um, yeah, I don't know. This one, yeah, I don't know. This one seems to hold a little bit more color, but you can, this one is already dyed the colors that I've been using. So yeah, 
Uh, I am going to switch now to oxide inks just to see. There you guys go. And all right, again, I'm going to use the pink and main and I'm going to start off the page. And I did clean the brush on a paper towel. So you can get a really, really good gradient effect with this. Uh, it take It's a little bit harder with these ones. So at least that's what I'm noticing on like my first try here. You definitely have to, whoops, have to go in with lots of layers to build up that really intense color. Um, let's see. Let's do this one now. Let me clean it off. Okay. Yeah, see this one definitely just holds more color. It's more concentrated. So definitely have to keep that in mind. I really didn't think that there was going to be that much of a difference because they seem pretty much the exact same thing. But this one definitely puts down a little bit more color at first than the pink and main. So let's go in with a different color. All right. And at this point, I kind of feel like I want to redo this video, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep it. How it is, I feel like it's way long just for two brushes, but uh, yeah, if you've made it this far, whoops, let me know if you are planning on getting these brushes or not. Love to know. All right. So the oxide inks in general are really easy to blend together. But this brush, it seems really easy. I still want to hold it by this for some reason. I don't know if it's just me, um, but I find it holding it like this is just a little bit harder for me. So, yeah. Whoops. All right. All right, let's do a stencil here. And then we'll move on to the next. Awesome. I love these brushes. I wish they weren't $10 a piece, regardless of the brand. <laughs> I wish they were, because I mean, you can get a pack of these for 10 bucks on Amazon. That's why I tell people to kind of save their money and buy the Amazon brushes of these ones. Um, but in this case, I definitely would would urge you guys and encourage you guys to support the crafty brand. All right, let's do the site over here. Okay. I don't know. It's <laughs> I'm having a hard time because I want to hold it like this, but then I feel like my hand is straining a little bit more than when I use this for like this way because this is how I hold it. But when I'm holding this like this, then that it just it it's harder for me. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. Time will tell. Um, 
So yeah. This is like an amazing blend. Ugh, I can't. It's it's too perfect almost. Love, love, love. All right. Now I have to go wash these <laughs> so I don't mess up my dye inks. All right. So there you guys go. This video was probably way too long for what it is. So I apologize. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So this is dye inks, and this was the pink and main, and then uh, the, yeah, Amazon, pink and main, uh, Amazon, pink and main. Sorry, I had to think for a second. Um... I still definitely, I mean, there's such a subtle difference. I would st still really, really hope that you guys support the Crafty brand. Um, unless, of course, there really isn't any way for you to get a Pink and Main or Alta New brand. Um, then, and you have access to Amazon, then... Um, yeah, see, I want to hold it like this because that's why they had made it, but I feel, I don't know, like I can hold it like this, I guess. This is easy, but just this is just weird for me. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll see how it, how it turns out, but uh, I honestly am not really that surprised that they performed how they did and like blended all the colors really nicely together. Uh, I kind of expected that, but I am really surprised that they are pretty much the same. And I'm really surprised that I don't want to hold it by the handle. Uh, cause I figured, I think that's why they had wanted to make them because they were Everybody was holding them the makeup brushes like this instead of like this. So, yeah. I don't know. I think I've rambled for 20 minutes almost now. So, yeah. Whoops. Don't want to throw them, Tiffany. All right. I don't think I have anything more to say, but they are amazing. Either one you go for uh, are, are great. So... Yeah, and I love that they have their little own little holder. I saw people um, that they were maybe Velcroing these to some shelves by their crafty desk upside down so you can kind of just pull them out like this. That's kind of cool. But anyways, I will let you guys go now. <laughs> so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. I love reading them and I would love to know if you are planning on getting these. Either one, doesn't matter. Or yeah, there's three. I think there's three different ones. But I don't know when Alta News is coming out with theirs. But anyways, if you are new to my channel, I hope you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time that I upload a video. Be sure to check out all of my other videos on my channel. I have been uploading videos like a crazy person in January. So be sure to uh, check them all out. And yeah, that's it. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.